All right, guys, so with Sierra's help, we brought the table outside. I was going to take it to the backyard, but that would be too much of a pain in the neck. So I'm going to spray it right here in the front of our house. And I'm just using flat black paint. I'm going to spray the legs and I'm going to spray right here on the edges of the table and then we are going to try to put resin on it and see how it looks. Oh and that little black flamingo. Sierra gave me those for Christmas. I love them. Okay so I'm going to voice over the rest of this video. Here I am lightly spraying with flat black paint the edges of the table. We just used flat black and I just put a box there so I wouldn't get any overspray on the top of the table. Then I went along and did the same thing to the legs. I don't know whether or not I should have sanded any of this, but I did not sand any of the stuff I'm showing you here. The only thing I sanded was the tabletop. So as you can see, I did put a little piece of cardboard at the foot of every leg of the table so that I would not get too much spray paint on the little gravel rocks but I should have used much bigger pieces than what I did. Here I'm trying to finish off one leg. I did do several coats even after I thought it was done. Like this one I went back because I saw some spots that needed done. So here are what you're going to need. You're going to need a clean bucket, a stirring stick, some gloves, something to spread out the epoxy, which is that little black foam brush. And then you're going to need your epoxy. So this is what we use. We bought it on Amazon. It's a two-part epoxy. And you're going to need one of these torches. So I went ahead and I got it open finally. It took a minute with those gloves and I poured it in. One thing I would do next time that I did not do would be to wear shoes and pants because the epoxy ended up getting on my legs and on the bottom of my feet. Thankfully it did not burn but that's what I would do different next time. So if you're going to use this epoxy make sure that you are totally covered up so there is no epoxy getting on your skin. I heard that it can give you epoxy, I guess a resin burn. Luckily for me, I looked on YouTube and uh, one lady said to clean it off with alcohol, like the isopropate alcohol or something, and then use Dawn dish soap. I had both of those items, so I went ahead and scrubbed all the parts of my skin that the epoxy touched and I ended up being just fine. I might have gotten a little bit of a burn on my fingertip because it is a little numb but if that's all I got then I'm very grateful. So you mix the two epoxies, the two parts, and you stir it really well. First it'll be like this. It's going to be like creamy you have to stir it. Make sure you scrape the edges and the bottom as you are stirring it so that it mixes really well. So you're looking for it to be clear. And you see the difference right there. That's because Scott is stirring it with his good hand. So you, as you can see here, it's been mixed and it's nice and clear. All we did was pour it on. Now had I known then what I know now, I would have just dumped the entire bucket on at once. But I didn't because I didn't know how much it would take. This is self-leveling. So then I just went around and I tried to smooth it out with my little brush. Any of those little spots. I'm just trying to cover it all. Make sure I don't have any spots that I missed. As you can see, it's a little thin there. So then I just go back and you'll see I get the bucket. 
and I just go ahead and pour the rest of it onto the table. I continued to smooth it out. Although it is self-leveling, you want to get it as smooth as possible. There are two things that I would do different that you might want to try if you do this project. After the fact, I think that just like in the paint pours, had I put a little bit, taken that brush and done the edges, it would have fallen over the edges a little bit more smoothly. So I would do that next time. Also, this is an older table that has a leaf to it to expand the table. We do not use that. So we should have filled in the cracks with wood filler first so that the paint and the epoxy wouldn't go through the cracks. So here you use your torch to get air bubbles as you see right there. You see them popping? You just lightly pass it over. Don't hold it on one spot for too long and you will see the bubbles popping like right there. If you look real closely, it's just the air bubbles coming out of the epoxy. So you just go over it, take your time and torch it. You can tell right here, we did this for a while, making sure that we got all the air bubbles coming up out of the epoxy so that when it dried it would be smooth. This is another thing we would do differently would be take our time and do it for a lot longer because we stopped using the torch and when it finally dried we did see a few of little dimples in it in the epoxy which is fine but if you want a perfectly smooth table you should just keep doing it and here i'm just showing you i hope you guys just saw that hidden mickey we had there and this is pretty much how it turned out i think we are still torching it right here we did torch it for a while but we should have torched it longer you can see how shiny it is and you can tell the glitter shows up a lot more now That's my favorite spot. Those colors right there. We had to have a hidden Mickey in there somewhere. So just giving you an overview of some of the colors that came out. And the fact that you can tell that there's glitter in there. This was a really fun project to do, and now Sierra and I want to definitely do the chairs. So we're going to probably paint the, the backs of the chair and the legs with satin spray paint. We'll probably sand it first, and then we're going to do the seats of the chairs with this same method. Of course, there are four chairs, so I think Sierra and I will each take a chair. We'll give a chair for Scott to do, and then her and I will do the last one together. So that we each have our own chair. We're going to try to use the same colors. We didn't really like the green too much that we ended up using in, in this table. But it worked out because it looked like a slug. So it added character to the table. So I have some pictures at the end here of what it looks like totally dry. This is right after we did it. So it was still wet right here. Also, very, very important that I did not mention, I need to emphasize that you have to put plastic or something to protect your floor if you are not doing this outside or in a garage. Even if you're in a garage, you should protect the floor. Luckily, I did have enough plastic. Make sure it stands out. This is after it is dry right here, all these pictures because you definitely do not want the epoxy sticking to the floor. It will ruin your floor. So here's my before. I didn't take a picture, but I did shoot video. And then we have the after. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. 
We hope to get to the chair soon, so I hope you guys join us for the chairs. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.